Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. Welcome to the most boring unboxing in the world. And this one is especially uh, boring because I've been gone at uh, multiple conventions, the World Series of Board Gaming. As you're watching this, I'm at the Spiel in Essen, Germany. So instead of unboxing everything, I had people open the boxes for me because we needed to get rid of the boxes. So you're just seeing the games that came in them. So here we go. We have Buffet Boss. Looks interesting. Doesn't really look like a buffet. Looks like a little dexterity game. Hopefully it's good. Then we have Skyrockets in flight. Um, this is a sequel to Kites. I know that. I finally got this one. I've been wanting to get this for a while. This is one of the newest unlock, and it's in the Asmodee universe. The Ticket to Ride, Pandemic, and Mysterium. So I do like unlock, so hopefully that is good. What else we got here? Come on, bite me. Um, the title and the picture are, are different than you might think. Fruity of Play, you'll be seeing this one reviewed uh, sooner than not. This is from the folks who made Federation. It's a very different game. That's a big heavy game. This is a light, almost trick-taking game. This monstrosity showed up. Voidfall. So this is from Mind Clash Games. And I'm certainly interested in trying this one out, but oh my word. Talk about intimidating. There's just so much inside this box. This box is huge. I know a lot of people like it though, so let's hope it's good. All right. We have cards versus gravity, which looks like you're putting a bunch of stuff on top of a bottle. Good face, bad face. One card's good, the other card's bad. Block party, which looks like Pictionary with blocks. Gussie Gorillas. This is from Bitewing Games. Fairies and Magical Creatures. This is the newest one from Forbidden Games. And Zangu First Empire. This is from Gigamic. Sorry, we are French. Looks like a lot of people are going to enjoy this one. Um, I don't know how I feel about how this one looks. I hope it's a good game, though. All right, now we have Geronimo, or the Geronimo, with a long O held out at the end. Yeah. Includes the fifth player expansion. Wait a minute. You can't say that on a box, includes the fifth player expansion. If it includes fifth player expansion, it just goes to five players. Am I confused on that? Anyway, uh, let's see what else we got. Story Wars, which... 100% looks like a Cards Against Humanity clone. Fisheries of Gloucester. This is from Dr. Finn Games. So that's super interesting. Alpu Yaris is another Stephen Finn game. Hmm, doesn't look very nice, though. I hope it's good. True Crime Stories. Can you crack these real-life crimes? Huh. I wonder if I would... If I would want to play a true crime story, I guess they're old enough, it doesn't matter. Time Jumpers, celebration of the 20th century. This is from Simply Fun. Now, you might have forgotten that Simply Fun exists, but they do. It's like a Tupperware for board games. I haven't heard from them in ages. The Million Dollar Doodle. They did not put a million dollars into the uh, artwork of this game. Cascadia Landmarks, the expansion for Cascadia. That's exciting. This one's called Cubed. It's pretty kind of hefty. I feel like I remember seeing this next level dominoes. I think this was a Kickstarter that I was interested in. I'm trying hard to remember. And then Dragon Keepers from Michael Menzel. Eh, well, looks interesting. Looks a little generic though. All right, got a couple uh, packages here. This one, fourth down and elevator up. Best game ever, the creator's mom. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I don't know what else to say. We'll see how they are. This one here is definitely a Kickstarter. So what it is, I don't know, though. It's very light. Oh, <laughs> It's the pig. <laughs> I 
how does it work here? Um, ah, there's a little, there we go. So this is, <laughs> this is way smaller than I thought it would be. So it's a pig. So here you have your cute little pig stuffed animal and uh oh isn't he cute and then it's time and then you turn him into a roast pig i don't know why that humors me so much and there he is ready to be served plate included it's gonna be hard to top a roasted pig but maybe this package will do it let's see what we got here we got some some people and a die. I'm going to make a wild guess that this is for a game somehow. All right. Well, that wasn't as interesting. Maybe this small package will be. This one has a... Oh, it's the Cats and Dogs expansion for Fort. All right, folks. Well, that is it for another most unboring boxing. And then there wasn't even much unboxing going on in this video. I feel like this video might have even had a little bit of a lie. Boring unboxing. That's okay, folks. When I get back next week, you're going to see a mega unboxing of stuff from the Essen Spiel. But this will hopefully hold you over for now. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching the most boring unboxings in the world.